Welcome to another episode of my doll diaries. Now I apologise if I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards, but I have been out uh, this morning to the gym. I've done a spirit class and I've been to tennis and I've got my little mini here with her tennis racket practicing her backhand. I did post a photograph of her on my Instagram um, practicing this move recently, so I'll pop it up on the screen to, uh, for you to see. Now today I'm going to unbox some something and build something and that thing that something is this it is the barbie extra um, creative maker kit and it's to it's basically to build make your own day no not day night and day <laughs> if that's the way they've put it pop-up party house and it includes 10 LEDs for night and day modes. So I thought this would be a really good thing to uh, show you me building. Now it's a brand new product I got from um, a UK store called Argos. And I also got a house size version. There's also a, boot, um, a shoe boutique and a cafe, which I haven't got, but I've got the house, which I haven't built yet. And I've got this one. Now, I'm a bit reluctant to build the house at the moment because I don't know if once you build them, if you can flatten them, I'm not sure. And I just haven't got anywhere to like keep it up because I've got a wooden doll house and it's in my craft room and I've got loads in there. <laughs> so I've just got no surface space basically free to do it. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm hoping it's quite small. And yeah, and I'm filming in my kitchen. If you, you probably can see, um, you know, the, this kitchen actually is, was um, our second reception room when we moved into the house. And uh, well, that part was, this part, well, there's a wall above me. This was a dividing wall and then the kitchen was in this bit, the bit you kind of can't see. And originally it would have been a really tiny kitchen. And then somebody had built an extension, like they'd built an archway, an extension into another bit there. So that was kind of the kitchen we moved in. But when we moved in, uh, eventually we knocked this wall out, put the kitchen in here and it's in here put a door across the arch and made it a utility. However, it's getting changed again, basically. So we've got a conservatory here. That's what you can see here. And you probably can see it, it looks like there's foil on the ceiling. <laughs> basically, it, we put some stuff on it to insulate it and it's getting knocked down. That you That is basically going and the utility is in the process of getting knocked down. So I'll actually, I'll put a photograph on the screen for you to see how my utility is looking at the moment. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad, but that's going. And the other downstairs room is going, yeah, for ready for rebuilding. But yeah, it's a slow burning project it is. So yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, it, it makes life quite awkward. I'm amazed I'm still doing videos in all honesty, but yeah, I'm cracking on with it. So anyway, Let's get this out. So what I might have to do is change the camera angle. Uh, yeah, I'll change the camera angle so you can see my hands um, rather than you don't want to be looking at the back of my head, do you? So anyway, I'll see you in a moment. Actually, before I change the camera angle, I know I've got sewers that watch my channel. And if you wonder what I'm wearing, I am wearing um, a top I've made and it's the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. And, uh, and I've got Miffy the Rabbit on it. And uh, the reason I'm wearing this at the moment, we're in the Easter holidays. So hopefully I might be able to do loads of unboxings over this Easter holiday. So I hope you stitchers don't mind, knitters and sewers and crochets don't mind lots of doll unboxings. But yeah, I might get a bit more time to do it. Or fingers crossed, I can't promise anything, but I will try. So right, I'll change the camera over. Okay, hopefully that angle's okay. I could have basically filmed from here straight away, couldn't I, actually? So yeah, I'm going to attempt getting all this out. Now, I might, um, you know, cut bits out of this video. I might um, fast forward it, and etc, etc, just so it's not too boring for you. Motion detected at the front door. I think that's my husband. <laughs> oh, it's not. 
sorry about that. It, was, it wasn't my husband, it was actually the postman. And uh, look what's in here. I've got some secondhand dolls off of eBay, but uh, I'm not gonna get those out now. But um, yeah, I'll get them out another time and uh, I'll explain more about it. I've got a little project going on, you see. Now the dishwasher is making a noise now. The dishwasher's draining. So yeah, I'm gonna do this and I can always mute it and play music, okay? <laughs> Right, before I open this, I thought I'd show you the back of the box. So it's kind of showing you what it looks like at night time. So maybe in this video, I'll have to show you it in the dark as well. So I'll show you what I'm looking at when I open it up. It's just some yellow paper with a bit of um, tape on top of it. So I can see lots of stickers and things. I'm guessing that's going to be the swimming pool. We've got some instructions here. Lots of stickers. Now, a lot of these things I recognise. Um, I actually have that cat. I got it with a Barbie doll, a Barbie extra doll. I do have that pig. I can't find the little unicorn thing at the moment. Um, you might have seen that with my husband's mini. I say it's dead mouse and it's got the little DJ decks. Again, these are all things that have come with the uh, the Barbie extras. Um, I know I've got that ice cream. I recognize that little ghetto blaster as well. Sorry, if the dogs are whimpering. <laughs> now we've got some instructions on the build as well. Now we've got a big wadge of what we're going to build. So I'm going to have to be popping all these out. So I'll show you each one as and when I need them. Uh, I think I just need to go away and read the instructions. Yeah, there's nothing underneath here. That's just to probably keep this from being damaged and things. But yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, get rid of the box and put this out and start reading the instructions. Right, the instructions say for a, a stronger build, add PVA glue to all the joints. Now, I don't know what sort of glue this is, but I've decided to use this and it's called High Tack All Purpose Very Sticky Glue. Um, and it says it dries clear, it's flexible for crafts, cards, hobbies, trimmings, safe and non-toxic. So that's what I'm using. I can't remember where I bought this, but I've got it in my stash. I've actually got a pin head in here because um, I use it for keeping that nozzle and block. And before I bought it in here, I tested that some glue was actually coming out of it. Now it says that you need to start Number one, you need piece number one, two and three. Now, I'm looking at this front one and there's no numbers, but I'll, if I have turn it over, there are some numbers, but they're all high numbers that I need a lower number. So I'm going to try flipping this over to the other side. Ah, yes, I think this might be what we're looking for, maybe. I, oh no, I don't know actually. No, this is number six. So I've got to basically go through all these pieces, finding which one I need, which makes it very awkward because um, I've got nowhere else to lay these in here. I don't know if I'll put them on the floor with the dog. So yeah, I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna find number one, two, and three. Right, just to make life difficult, number one, two, and three aren't on the same piece. I found number one on here, number three on here, and number two on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all these out, and then um, and I'll put the cards aside and see what I've got to do next. Right, uh, while I've been off camera, I've laid all the pieces out in my hall, which is through through there, and I've just kept those pieces that I need for now. What I'll do is I will film them all on my hall floor in a moment, but we're just going to put these two pieces, three pieces together first. So one and three, they, the dog's crying. 
<laughs> one and three are at the bottom and um, from what I can see the wood effect of number three is going to be on the outside and the wood effect of number two is going to be on the outside as well so we'll turn them like that And you can, it's really easy to see what what they want from you. I'll just lay them like that for now. Now this is number two. And on the picture, it's this direction. It wants you to put them into the slots. So yeah, I'm gonna get some glue, that glue on the go now. I think I might put it into a little pot and get a stick and put it in that way. Right, I've got a paint palette, it looks a bit grubby, and I've got a little pick, just a wooden stick, like a, um, like a food stick, that you stick in cheese and pineapple, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing my age now, aren't I? You know, cheese and pineapple on sticks. This glue comes out extremely slowly, so I've only got a tiny little blob of it. I don't know how far that is going to go. I don't know if you can see, <laughs> a little blob. So I think I'm going to put it on number two, in the slot of number two. looking at it it's probably best to put it on both sides like that and I'll put some on this side so I'm just literally smoothing it with the stick in that gap just trying to make sure it's touching a bit of all that surface and then slotting it into the slot i'm doing it on both sides the the top and the bottom and it's looking like this so far so i'll just put that down so right i'm going to take you into my hallway now and i'm going to show you what it looks like in there so this is how the piece is looking that I've just stuck together. Excuse my messy board, but yeah, it's just getting a bit old and tatty now. Here are all the pieces on the floor. Now you can see where I've popped some out of that one and that one and that one. So yeah, I'm gonna look for at the instructions now and see what I need next. Now I don't want this to be incredibly boring for you so I'm just showing you what I'm going to be doing next so I'm just going to find all these pieces and put them together like this but I think that would be rather boring and then I'll come back to you when we turn to the next page. I've just completed um, stage number six and seven and now it's looking like this it's made the surface area much bigger on this side here so uh yeah i'm gonna come back to you in a moment but i just want i've got a super proud mother moment i've just had this come through the post um as well from the postman so magnifico uh, i'm gonna send you back to me right i'm back this side it says jack now that's my youngest son well done on your mock grade in spanish Cre uh, keep up the great work and then it says um something in Spanish which I can't actually read the writing all that well actually and from his teacher so I'm just going to pop upstairs now and uh, give this to my youngest son and give him a big congratulations so magnifico <laughs> right I'm back from um seeing my son um he was in the middle of a computer game so I didn't want to disturb him I just walked in and said magnifico and I said some and I said something's come through the post for you. Well, I'm just letting you know, I've just been to get the final pieces of this page, uh, number 13 and 14. Now, what I'm finding is with the pieces of 
bits I've got in the hallway. Sometimes I'm struggling to find the numbers that I need, but sometimes it's because you need to have a look on the other side. So not all the numbers are on one side. Some of them are one side and some of them are the other. So I hope that helps. So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to figure out these final pieces of this page and we'll have a look at the next page. Right, we're there. We've finished this bit. Uh, it, it did feel a bit alien doing these pieces because you've got some pieces sticking out, but you've just got to trust what it's saying to you. So, next page. So, it looks like we're going to be putting some floor pieces in now. And then, and then some walls. So, that's exciting, isn't it? So, right, I'll go and find those. That's number 15, 16 and 17. So, I'm going to get those now. Okay, I've been to get those pieces and they're quite large. Now, what I've noticed in some of these, they've got like little pieces that you're going to need to pop out. So I think it might be worth getting some scissors. Obviously, get a grown up to do this if, um, you know, if it's because it's a bit can be a bit dangerous. Um, pop them out with scissors like this. I think it might be worth doing that before you start gluing everything together. Now the first piece I've got to put in is the floor and there are some pieces to pop out on that. There's, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bits to pop out on this. So I'm going to do that without filming. <laughs> So I've popped those out. I've put quite a bit of glue now in my pot. See that big lump there? And I'm going to put glue with my stick in all the holes. And then I'm going to place it on where it's got to go. Like you can see where it's going to slot on, on all of these. And then I'll come back to you. My dog is barking, so I might have to mute this. Now I've realised I've glued too many edges than I, than I needed and that, that was quite difficult but I'm hoping I'm going to be putting some walls in and hopefully that glue won't dry before I get a chance to do that. So I'll better get a move on, I'll be back with you soon. Right, I just thought I'd come on, we've got some locks to start putting on these now. So uh, you just kind of slide them into the, the gaps which I'll show you more closely in a moment. So I've just got two pieces of wall together and those are the locks that I've just put in on the back. Now I'm going to get some more wool from my hallway. She stopped barking. Right, I'm trying to talk to you but I just can't do it. So yeah, we've stuck three walls in now and I did have a bit of difficulty because I'd put some glue in areas that I shouldn't have too early on. It made it difficult to get it all fitting in nicely. Um, but yeah, I think I've I've managed to do it okay. I was getting a few little gaps down the back here. I can still sort of see it actually. I don't know whether that is supposed to be like that. I don't know. And see that little bear there? I've got that little bear that came with a Barbie extra. So yeah, that, this is how it's looking so far. And um, I'm just having a look. We do need to put some more locking things. Now, some of the locking things I've put in, I think I've put them the wrong way. I think they were supposed to be pink on the pink side that you see. And I've put them the wooden side. But yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about that. But um, it looks like... I've got to put some locking bits in now. Right, I'm just coming back to you. Now, will admit, I was getting a bit frustrated then. I couldn't get these in. They were just buckling the ones on the floor. And I've actually made a hole now for it to go through. And I can't get it through. And so I've decided I'm not going to bother. But now it bothers me that I've got this tiny little hole but I have still got the little piece, so I might try and glue that back on and then just leave it, okay? Okay, now we've got to put the LED bit in, apparently. Now, I don't know if the batteries come, come with this or not, I'm not sure. Now, I didn't know if the pack was missing, and it's not. It's at the bottom of this. Do you remember I was telling you there was a grid thing at the bottom? It's in there in the corner. 
it didn't come with batteries it needs double a batteries so i'm going to see if i've got any but you do need i think a phillips screwdriver to undo this and i haven't got one my husband might have one but yes so battery depending and um sc phillips screwdriver depending <laughs> Right, I'm just going to leave the battery compartment empty at the moment. But what we've got to do is put it in its place and we've got to put where all the lights are going to be. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just untangling it and I'm just going to have a look on how this goes. So it looks like it feeds down the side of the battery pack. Motion detected at the front door. That's probably my husband. I might have to do this another time. Welcome to a brand new day. Well, actually, it's a few days after. So uh, I can't really remember what I was saying to you when I left you, but I just haven't been able to get this out in the kitchen. I have got it out in the kitchen a couple of times and then it just everybody keeps coming in there. So, yeah, it's been no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not, I'm going to quit filming the rest of the construction of this, but I'll show you where i am at the moment so i've got the back the two wall sides the floor now i haven't glued this bit down because i thought because there's leds underneath they kind of fit, uh, fit underneath and if i ever need to change it i'll be able to take the floor up so that's the only bit i haven't glued and i don't know uh, maybe i'll glue the roof down this is how we're looking and uh, I'll show you at the, the back and the sides. So yeah, that is how we're looking at the moment. So I'm going to carry on. Now there are going to be stickers on this that you can put on and move and move around as well. So maybe I'll show you some of those. But yes, just leave this with me now. I'm going to get my glue back out and start. Like I don't think there's much to do now. I don't think. I think it might literally be a roof piece. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think there might, these might be some sides actually that go on the front of here. I'm not 100%. Uh, I've got to look at the instructions. And uh, yeah, and there's some funny shapes and things. Oh, I'll show you one of them. There's some funny shapes like these. Yes, yeah, so I need to just basically crack on. Yeah, I'll get all the main construction done and then I'll come back to you and show you what it's looking like. It's looking, you know, a bit more together now. I will show you close up of this and there's no batteries in it yet um, because I, I couldn't. Well, I need to check I've got batteries and I need a Phillips screwdriver. And there's supposed to be lights that come down here, but the lights will not reach. They would, I, I've done them as you know tight as I could, but I'm going to need extra lights to put in at the top. Uh, so a, def a separate battery pack. Now this weird shape thing that I was showing you uh, is a chair. So I'm going to build that um, on camera. And uh, I thought I'd mention, have you seen my jumper? I I sorry, I do look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards again. Um, I've been figure skating practice in my Barbie jumper. You may have seen one of my uh, my stories up on Instagram uh, of me skating in it. And, oh, and I did have Barbie socks on, but I took them off because I didn't want to get them dirty so anyway uh, yeah I want to build this chair and then when I come back to you hopefully I'll have all the lights and everything and then I'll, I'll do some little scenes and things with it I'll do a little video and uh, I thought this if you've watched the new skipper babysitting uh, adventure movie I thought this would make a really nice place um where they you know they kind of do you know in the bit with them in the bus i don't want to give away too many spoilers when this you know they're having a bit of part, party bus kind of thing it has that kind of vibe doesn't it and then this could be the place that they uh they entertain the children in at the end but yeah so, sorry if i'm giving a little bit too much away so anyway the chair so you get the back bit and you slide it down onto that I don't think it really matters which way you do it. And uh, 
I've used to know the hysteria on uh, online at the moment because um, the trailers for the new um, live action Barbie movie have been released yesterday and uh, there's been a Barbie generator so you could put your own photographs and so it looks like you're like in the movie so yeah it's been lots of fun my first didn't work out right actually it didn't put Barbie across the screen so I've redone mine I'll have to get my husband to redo his his Ken version that hasn't gone on as well as the other side. Now, if you can see that, one's gone right to the top and the other one hasn't. So I don't know if I've got to bring one back a little bit. Yeah, the cardboard hasn't gone out this bit. There's still a bit in there. Try again. That's in now. And then we're gonna get this the base. I don't think that matters. I'd probably put the rounded side on the top. So I'm gonna slide those in. I'm not, I haven't used any glue on the rest of this project. I only use the glue on the base pieces and the house sides, but the rest of it, I've just slotted together and used the little locking nuts. So there we go. Should I go and get a doll? I'll go and get a doll quickly. Well, that's rather handy. The first doll I came to is my mini. Look, I think I need to redo her hair. Look, there's all bits coming out, but I, I suppose <laughs> we're a bit the same. <laughs> so yeah, she's got a tennis racket that she's um she's had off tennis Barbie. Um, I've pre-ordered another tennis Barbie actually, and I have got a um a figure skating um Barbie in my basket on a website and I haven't checked out and I've had an email to remind me to check out but do you know when you try not to buy everything because I've been buying some second hand dolls and things so yeah I've got I've got to rein it in somewhere haven't I so uh here we go actually I have got another Chelsea doll coming today uh because I, I'm thinking of doing a custom, well, I'm not thinking, I'm going to do a custom one. I'm going to get uh, put on an articulated body, so I've got one that can be a bit more expressive. Excuse me, my nose. Oh, I've still got my Christmas tissues here. <laughs> I'm going to be using one of the Barbie Extra Minis. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you won't have seen any Barbie Extra Minis on my channel. But I have got two of them, but I've never unboxed them. Now, it does feel a little bit sad that I'm going to unbox this doll, you know, so I don't know whether to get another one. So I've got one to keep her as she is. And uh, they're quite quirky. They're, they're small, so their bodies are like the Chelsea, like Barbie's sister. But they've got big heads, a bit like Blythe dolls. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I've got two of those. I've got uh, basically the standard blonde-haired, blue-eyed Barbie. And I've got a blonde-haired, dark-eyed one, which was quite hard to get, actually. They're, they're not as, um, you know... Um, easy to get as all the other ones that are out there so so anyway I'm going to come back to you when uh yeah and I'll, I'll film this up close and things and I'll show you when uh we've got some lights some lights and things so yeah so I'll see you then look what just came through the door little Chelsea doll now this doll has got a totally removable dress that's why I ordered her and it looks very much like the kind of thing she wears so I'm going to put this on the um the mini the Barbie mini uh, which I'll grab actually and uh, yeah I'm going to do some head swapping but I might need some to put some elastics around because I think her head will wobble and I don't know um how the f the shoes are going to fit because Barbie extras have like you know the shoes like Barbie where the shoes are like in high heels so maybe I have to do something to her feet I don't know but yes uh yes I'm going to be doing that so I'm going to do some photographing before I totally take everything apart and uh, yeah I'll see I'll show you the results as well maybe in this video so thank you for watching so much for watching so far and I'll see you in the next bit now this is how it is looking all lit up now unfortunately i couldn't get the lights to reach now if i show you on top he uh, here and here and here the lights were supposed to go into there as well so they were shining at the top however i've got a light sandwiched between there that was the one that wouldn't reach there and then that one should have gone to the next one up, but then there would have only been one extra. So the lights aren't really long enough 
for this project however i've got some other lights now i haven't fixed them i've just kind of just thrown them on the top here and i'm going to put them on <laughs> like that so look how much light that gives us now so here's mini claire sitting here I don't know why she's holding the tennis racket sitting in a chair, but yes, she is. So I'm going to um, maybe put some other dolls. Now that looks a bit unsightly behind. There's a big window and uh, you can see my um, skirting board and my hallway basically. So yeah, you could do with having a better background. If I turn this round here, we've got just a white background. But yeah, you could put any kind of scene, beach scene you like. Now, I've made um, a beach scene before, which you might have seen on one of my previous doll diary videos. So I could actually place that in there. So I'll see if I've got anything else. But I suppose it's got to really go with the, the scene here, maybe. But yeah, you could put you could put anything there, really, couldn't you? But this, it's a shame, really, they didn't put a window the same as these um yeah but i suppose you've got a choice of what you want to put there i suppose so this is how it's looking all set up and inside i've put the skipper babysitting dolls in there from the recent movie also there is um Shelby, which is Chelsea's friend in Barbie's Dreamhouse Adventures. She's the daughter of the the, the neighbour that does yoga, who does goat yoga. Here is my new Chelsea. She's the unicorn one, which I've customed by putting on a, a, a body that is from one of the Barbie extras. And actually, I have um, used a nail file to um, file down her bust because obviously Chelsea is supposed to be a child, so yeah, she didn't need a bus. It wasn't too obvious, but yeah, it, I think it does look much better. And I've pulled her neck up a little bit. I think she looked like she had no neck. So that is how she's looking now, and she's holding Stacey's hand, which is um, one of Barbie's other sisters, the next sister up, and then the next sister up from there is Skipper. Now, as you can see with these dolls, their, their heads at the back, they reach right to the roof, these skipper size dolls. And um, yeah, but at the front, there's a bit more of a gap here. So I'm not sure if Barbie would actually fit under it. Now here is my mini, my mini Claire. Now she, um, she's got articulated feet, so she can wear heels and flat shoes. And at the moment she's got flats on. So I'm going to stand her at the entrance. Now she will stand up nicely at the entrance of this. And I'm going to, with her flats, I'm going to take her as far back as she will go. Now, she will go that far um, back, touching the roof, but there are holes in the roof. So if you want a taller, you know, like a Barbie, standard Barbie size height, you can take them further back in here, like this. And I'll just stand. I think her knees are a little bit bent, so that's not a true test. You can stick their heads out of the roof a little bit. So they can stand quite far back, but only as far back as that opening will go. Um, yeah, because I did think that was a little bit crazy for a dance floor. But this is perfect, actually, if you've watched the new Skipper movie. Now, if you're in the UK, the only way you would have been able to watch it our oh, Claire can do the talking. The only way you would have been able to watch it is on a um, a channel called Pop, and it aired recently, which I did put a post about it um, on social media. But um, I think Netflix UK will be getting this movie in June. I did actually manage to watch it on YouTube. There was a leak and someone put it on there illegally, and I actually watched it before it got released on Pop. But um, yeah, but I've, I've recorded it on pop as well. So yeah, basically it's all about Skipper and her and her babysitting adventure. That's the name of the movie. And uh, Skipper wears. It's this is one of the outfits Skipper wears in the movie. 
and those girls are her friends. Yeah, I do have one of other Skipper's um, friends that is in the movie, but she doesn't feature a lot in it. She's early on in the movie. But uh, yeah, they, um, uh, Joy, basically, who's at the back, you can see her with a microphone. She isn't holding a baby. Joy um, is a fabulous singer. So I've given her, I've um, lent her one of the other Barbie's microphones. That's why she's there with a the microphone. But I think this is a lovely addition to my my little um, doll diaries and uh, I'm just making room for it actually in my craft room I've just like moved the printer over and moved one of the tripods so I think I'll be able to have this standing in my craft room all the time well basically I will have to because um, I can't keep it anywhere else and I can't really take it apart. In theory, if I hadn't glued anything, I could have taken it apart. But I do think it's one of those sort of things. I don't think you want to take it apart once you've built it. Uh, it's best to leave it up. So anyway, I hope you've liked seeing the finished article. And um, yeah, and I hope you've enjoyed my video and I hope to bring you another one soon. I think I'm ready for a Stitch Diary video now, but you never know. It might be another Doll Diaries. It might be a Stitch Diary. But thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.